After a long day of work, you come home and turn on the lights, AC or TV, as do your friends who come home at roughly the same time. Generally speaking, the energy demand will increase during these peak hours. Why is this a problem? You see, some energy sources have irregular output. We call them intermittent renewable energy sources. They are not dispatchable on demand due to their fluctuating nature. These fluctuations make it challenging for the grid operator to respond to the extra demand during peak hours. For a long time, fossil fuels filled in the gaps since traditional power plants can increase their output immediately. But we don't have to explain why we don't want those anymore. So how are we supposed to sustain a stable power grid, working only with renewable sources? Luckily, there are solutions that allow us to store energy when there is an oversupply and release that back into the grid when needed. Hydro wind energy is currently developing a technology that strives to combine offshore wind with a gravity-based energy storage system. The Ocean Hydro Omni utilizes a vertical axis rotor. This allows them to start working at low wind speeds and keep working through extreme wind conditions. How is this all possible then? See, these floating rotors don't have a typical generator setup. The way these generate energy is actually quite inventive. Their system uses a heavy block that is dropped to the seabed, which in turn drives a generator to convert this mechanical energy into electrical energy. Then the wind rotor is used to lift the block back up to the surface and the cycle starts anew. This gives the added benefit of an on-demand dispatchable power because of the energy storage capability. This seems like a wonderful solution and it promotes thinking outside the box. We will still have our questions though. For example, is this really applicable on grid scale level? And how does this concept deal with maintenance? And what is the ecological impact? Let us know in the comments what your thoughts are on this problem and how to solve it.